In this lesson, we're going to look at installing uh, certificate services on the uh, Windows server that we've just set up uh, for our training lab. Now, the reason I install certificate services is so that I can use it to issue SSL certificates to my Exchange server uh, in the training lab environment. You don't need to do this. You can, uh, if you're planning to purchase a certificate for your training lab, um, then you don't need to install certificate services within the lab. But um, you know, if you'd like to learn a little bit about SSL certificates and how they work with Exchange without actually having to spend that money, uh, then installing certificate services on your server um, is a that's a fine way to go about doing it. So we've logged onto the server and the server manager console has opened up. So just scroll down to the role summary and we'll go ahead and add a role. Now the role we want to add is Active Directory Certificate Services, so just check that box. Click Next, and Next again. And we also want to install the uh, Certificate Authority Web Enrollment, which uh, will let us um, use a, a web page basically on the in internal to the network to submit the certificate request from the Exchange server and retrieve the um, issued certificates. And it requires a few extra components that are installed, such as um, IIS, so the web server components basically. So I'll go ahead and add those as well. And click Next again. Uh, you want to install an Enterprise CA, make it a root CA, and a new private key. You can accept the defaults for cryptography. Uh, I like to just um, simplify this name a little bit. Uh, we'll just call it uh, Boot Camp Boot Camp CA. Just so I recognise it when I'm looking at certificates that uh, that server is issued. Um, a five-year validity period is fine. Uh, if your training lab is still around in five years, I'd be surprised anyway. And all of the other options are basically uh, the defaults happy with those and just go ahead and click install and just note that um, once you've installed certificate uh, services you can't change the server name or anything like that um, that shouldn't be an issue in your training environment so go ahead and install it okay so that installation was successful it's now finished just click close that task is now complete you can move on to the next lesson